these large sharks first appeared about 60 million years ago. Megalodon's front dorsal fin was about five feet tall. Now you can learn facts such as this and see why there is something called megalomania that has been taking off the past few years. Because honestly, Megalodon still intrigues us today. Well, I think it goes back to we always have this fascination with big, ferocious creatures. And of course, when you're talking about the ocean, sharks are always the things you worry about in the modern sea and then to realize that in ancient seas, you had this giant shark running around that makes the, the big ones in our current seas look tiny. Uh, it's it's kind of spooky. Yes, it's scary and rather large. For example, you know, we have in the back of the exhibit this series of jaws representing growth stages from a fairly young megalodon to a one of the biggest jaws that would be of the biggest individuals found. And the smallest one is starting at about a, a 30 foot individual, which is bigger than a, the best known great whites right now. I couldn't help but think that the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movies play a part in drumming up enthusiasm for Megalodon. It definitely does. It, uh, it, it's essentially movies always have an impact on the public and, and get people's interest. We're also going to get another bonus. I don't know if you're aware of this or not. Um, and I don't know how good it's going to be, but there's another movie scheduled for later this uh, summer entitled Meg, which is actually on Megalodon. You know, the Karkar, Karkar Coley's Megalodon shark. And so we might get another burst of interest from that. People are finding an avid interest in this exhibit. It's fun and very enlightening. Everyone gets a thrill out of walking through the skeletal model of a megalodon, but the exhibit also answers the basic questions. Why are we interested in animals like this? How have people reacted to it in the past? You know, there's a whole panel there on cultural things. Uh, and you know, how megalodon appears in stories, monster movies, etc to, uh, you know, how do we know what we know about megalodon, the various scientific aspects of it. This is not a fisherman's tale, but I will say this is an exhibit everyone is enjoying. There are interactive areas, and like the megalodon itself, there is a ton of information. Well, my son and I were really impressed with it. It was one of the reasons that he wanted to come today. Um, he's heard a lot about it, read a lot about it, and we were pretty impressed. It's so realistic and it's so colorful. I like the way that they allowed the kids to walk into the shark and, you know, and really feel how big it was. That, that's the part I liked. And, um, and just even normal sharks, how small we are. Just to experience it. I mean, looking on a page, you're not gonna get the gravity of how large it is. A lot of times you see measurements, but most people aren't really great at envisioning that measurement. Uh -huh. And so you get to see it. So if you're the type of person that wants to touch, feel, see, be in the middle of it, whatever is your thing and how you experience something, I feel like there's a way here for you to experience that. 